Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to explain to you how the percentage, the pixel, the EM, the RAM and the viewpoint measurements in Elementor work like and how you can use them in your everyday web projects when you use Elementor. So basically these are standard measurements that are used in the web development process. When we come over to this heading, Best Digital School and come to Style and go to Typography we have the PX, EM, REM, and VW. VW basically stands for Viewpoint Width. So the options you actually get are different based on where you are accessing or using the specific Elementor widget because Elementor thought that some of these uh, measurements are best to be used on specific elements or section. Now I'll explain to you starting with a heading element, come here to typography, and then the pixel measurement. Pixels are considered absolute units, although they are relative to the DPI and resolution of the viewing device. But on the device itself, the pixel unit is fixed and does not change based on the other element. Using pixels can be really a challenge, mostly if you are using or you are creating websites that are supposed to be responsive, because pixels will always maintain a specified sizing of the element for as long as that is the specific number that you chose and this won't change based on the device your visitor is using to view your website so we have other measurements which are relative now like the em which is relative to the parent element the rem which is relative to the root element in this case the html tag that has been allocated to that specific element then we have the percentage uh, sizing which is relative also to the parent element and then the viewpoint width which is relative to the viewpoints width and then the view height which is relative to the viewpoint height unlike the pixels relative units that like percentage em and rem are better situated for responsive design so in case you're creating any web projects that you want to be uh, responsive on different uh, devices I urge you to consider using the percentage EM and REM depending on how you want them to work like for example if you want something to be relative to that HTML tag then you'll have to use the REM if you want something to be relative to the parent tag then you can use the percentage or even the EM so uh, maybe you have questions what are the values for this specific uh, sizings represent so you now you have to understand something that different web browsers come with a default size which is most times 16 pixels now this is the default font size that will be used to display text on your website you can actually send the settings of the base html tag via css and then what you change to will become the default for your browser and then every other time you're going to make adjustments to your sizings let me say the em the rem your web browser will start calculating based on what you specified as your best sizing size i hope that really makes sense uh, so let's take it that you have 14 pixels as your best sizing for your web browser so in this case if you have one em that means it will be 14 pixels if you decide to use two em that means it will be 28 pixels and if you decide to use half an em then that will be seven pixels and the same applies to rem and on the other hand if you're using percentages 100 percent will be representing 14 pixels and 200 percent will be representing 28 percent and 50 percent will be representing half the 14 percent which is seven pixels so now maybe you have questions what's the difference between em and rem these two basically differ in inheritance rem is based on the root element which is the html and every child element that uses the rem will use the html root size as its calculation point regardless of whether or not a parent element has any different sizes specified on the other side the em is based on the font size of the parent element if the parent element has a different size than the root element the em calculation will be based of the parent element and not the root element the percentage view width and the view height are mostly used for margins padding spacings and width stroke heights so in this case if we set this to be 100 pixels that means it will maintain the same size across all platforms 
for as long as it is in pixels and specified to be 100 pixels so guys that's how you can use the pixel the em the viewpoint the view width in elementor if you have any questions please let me know in the comment box below if something is unclear for you please also let me know and in case you have a specific tutorial that you want me to make i'll be happy also to know in the comment box below thank you so much for watching if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new other tutorials just like this if you like this video please uh, hit the thumbs up button and i can't wait to see you in the next video have a good time Thank you.